In this video, I'll go over the image menu of the Leica S-Type 006. If I press the lower left button on the back of the Leica S-Type 006 to bring up the info display, I can press again to bring me into the image menu. I can use this button to scroll through the image menu by page. In this case, there are two pages. I can also navigate the image menu using the rear dial or the joystick. The first option here is ISO. To get into this menu, I can either press the joystick down or press down the rear dial. We have a range of ISO selections available from 100 to 1600. This is an improvement over the ISO range of the Leica S2, which was 160 to 1250. Don't be afraid to boost your ISO above 400. It's actually pretty good. We also have auto ISO. To get into auto ISO, simply press the joystick or the rear dial. Here we have two important options to choose from. The first is our max ISO. I use about 800, but you can set whatever you're comfortable with. Then your max exposure time. I'd recommend a manual setting of 1 to 50th. Once you've got your settings, hit the upper right button to go back, then click OK. Next, we have file format. By default, the Leica S shoots a DNG RAW file, which is compatible with a wide range of RAW processing programs. You can also shoot a DNG with two different types of JPEGs, or a JPEG fine or basic by itself. Here, I'll select DNG plus JPEG fine, and I'll press the rear joystick to confirm my selection. Next, we have DNG compression. This is actually a lossless compression, so I'd recommend keeping this on just to make your life easier. Turn it off, and you're dealing with a file of about 80 megabytes. Turn it on, and depending on your subject matter, your file size is anywhere from 30 to 45 megabytes. Again, this is lossless compression. You lose no quality, and there is no downside. Next, we have JPEG resolution. Keep in mind that if the camera is set to DNG only, this option will be grayed out. This is really handy when using a iFi card or similar device to transmit small JPEGs to an iPad or other device. I'd recommend the smallest 2.3 megapixel JPEG, which just makes file transfer the quickest. You can also select a 9.3 megapixel or even a full res 37.5 megapixel JPEG. Next, we have white balance. By default, we're on auto, but we have a number of different options available, including new to the Leica S-Type 006, a gray card option. Clicking this, you're allowed to select a gray card anywhere in the frame and create a custom white balance. Here's how to do that. Once you've selected the gray card option in the white balance menu, place a neutral object somewhere in your frame, like a gray card or a color checker. Here, I'm using an X-Rite color checker passport. Set your focus and exposure for the target, then take a picture. The camera will bring up the image with a crosshair that indicates the area on the picture that you want to set as a neutral point for white balance. You can use a joystick controller to move the crosshair around the image and experiment with different neutral points in order to find the optimum white balance. To preview the effect of a particular neutral point, you either depress the joystick button or the upper left button, and the camera will change the white balance of your test image accordingly. If you aren't happy with the adjustment, simply move the crosshair to a different point and depress the joystick. Once you are happy with the white balance, press the bottom left button to save, and the camera will set that as your custom white balance. We also have color temperature, which you can select a Kelvin range in 200 Kelvin increments. Once you've made your selection, click either the rear joystick or the dial to confirm. To go back, hit the upper right button. Next, we have color space. Again, this is a JPEG only option and will be grayed out if the camera is set to DNG only. You can choose sRGB, good for the web, Adobe RGB, great for printing, or the wide gamut ECI RGB, which hasn't quite taken hold yet, but is mostly used in fine art reproduction. To go back without changing your selection, hit the upper right button. To make a selection, hit the scroll wheel. The last three options, again, are JPEG only. I will repeat, if you have DNG selected, these will be grayed out. Now, because I have DNG plus JPEG, I now can change these settings. We have contrast, low, standard, and high, Sharpness, also low, standard, and high. And saturation, low, standard, high, and black and white. This is great if you shoot DNG plus JPEG because your preview on the camera screen will also be black and white. So if you plan on converting your RAW files to black and white, this really helps you preview the shot. If I want to confirm the changes that I've made in the image menu, I can press the upper right button to get to my info display. Here, I can see a number of things, including the custom white balance that I set, my DNG compression, my JPEG resolution, and my color space. 